Jade on here. Jumper T12. Bugs. Let's get to it. I'm just going to tip him over. We're going to turn on this. See uh, that I'm running OpenTX. Fail safe warning. We're going to just head out of there. MJX bugs. You can see the light went out. And show you that there's no trickery here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to try to explain how I did this. Um, I believe it was Douglas from the Jumper community. He made a little video for me. The end of the video wasn't there. And I was able to limp my way through the last part of it. It was simple. It was really downloading, I think, three things. Um, plugging that into the computer and then loading it. It was really simple. I'm going to try to explain. So the first step that you will need to do is do what I did. And uh, that was not having much help at all. I found myself here. I will link this HTTP, which is up there. HTTP github.com um, this long thing you could try to copy it down but I will link it down below so you could click on it and you'll be redirected here um, all this is a little intimidating especially for somebody who's a Devo guy and not open TX but anyway um, disregard tools required this is only for the JP 4 and one if you don't have the JP 4 and one module this video is not for you um, if you have the T12 or you have a Tranus and you have a JP4 and one, then this video is for you. First thing we're going to do, we are going to install, um, right there, install IDE and it is recommending to click and then just click on Windows, Mac, whatever. I clicked on Windows. I installed it. Um, then we need to download the multi-protocols source. Um, click here. It's a zip file. Unzip it. Make sure you're putting all this stuff. Put all this stuff in a folder. I can show you my folder. This is all the stuff that you need to do this. It is. You have your zip file that I just told you about. Unzipped. That's there. And then we have the program. It's really all you need, guys. And then it's just following simple instructions. Again, I'm going to try to walk you through this because there is no good video showing this. Um, my friend Douglas, he uh, made a decent video, which kind of helped me along the way. And then I had to limp my way to the rest of it. Install the four in one board. Let's click here. I'm going to walk you through this, guys. Installing. Open. Adreno. I think that's how we say it. I'm going to scroll down a little bit further so you can see this. And you can do this at home. By all means, please do this at home. Have a split window. I wish somebody would have did this for me. So we are going to open Adreno. Or Arduino. It takes a little while to load. Like this uh, this right here. Bam, so, and it loaded. Okay. So now we can go back here. And it wants us to go to File, Preferences, Locate addig Additional Boards, manage urls so we are going to go to what it say file preferences file preferences and then locate the additional boards right here this additional boards url let's jump over here you're going to copy what's highlighted here copy it and then put it down there Put it down right there where it shows here. I'll jump back over to the file, to the program actually. We would then, here, I'll, I'll do it. Might as well do it. Um, that way you guys could see exactly how to do it. This might not be the most exciting video, but trust me, I wish somebody had this video when I tried to do this. I've been trying to figure this out for the past four days, man. Um, so I've hit Control C. We can also right click and hit copy. So you got two options there Control C or right click. Um, and hit copy then you can come down here hit control V or right click Nope, you're stuck with control V right click won't work control V bam There you go um, And then what's it want us to do after that just click ok click ok K to save changes I already have it um, So we're not going to do that the next thing we are going to do is click on tools We are going to uh, just get out of this preferences because I already have this done. I already have that inserted. I clicked OK and it's good. So we're going to go into tools and boards managers. Tools, 
Let's go to boards, managers, which I don't know where it is. Boards, managers, boards, board managers, right here. So you're gonna go right there. You're gonna go over to boards, managers, okay? And then, let's see, what's what else to do? I'm looking over here. Type multi into the search box. Type multi, right up here, M-U-L-T-I. And again, guys, I'm, uh, I don't know if I have to hit return. Maybe hit return, no. Type multi, it's not showing me nothing. I don't know why it's not showing me anything. Um, type multi in the search box to see multi four and one boards. Should show you something. Did I spell something wrong? M-U-L-T-I, M-U-L-T-I. Or maybe because it's already, I already have it maybe. M-U-L-T-I. It's not showing me it. Um, when I did it, though, I'm just going to close that out. Hopefully, it'll work for you and it doesn't give you the jazz that I just showed. But it'll give you these three boards. Um, and the one that you need is this one, I believe. I believe it's this one right here, the multi four and one. Um, so then click on your board. Verify the boards are in installed. Scroll down the list, multi four and one board. Again, it's simple following instructions here. And then we will get to actually loading it to uh, the jumper. I got to go get my cord. I'm going to plug the jumper in. All right, guys. So check it out. We got this plugged. If you could see that. Sorry, my lighting's horrible. We got the JP401 plugged into the computer via USB. We get a green light. After you get the green light, this is the pudding. You don't want to open up that. You want to go in DIY, multi-protocol. You want to go to multi-protocol. And if you're on Windows, it will show. We're just going to hit M. It will show this. It will show multi-protocol. There's no letter after. I know the instructions show a letter. There's no letter after it. Don't worry about it. Double click it. And then we will be brought to the program after that yeah. loads. You've copied, you've pasted um, that into the bar that I showed you. We're going into file and preferences, copy and paste. Once you do that, the, the multi um, protocol things will come up that you need um, and then you just didn't need to install the one that you need and here we need to also make sure our board is on the one that we installed and the one that we installed is all the way down here I have two installed but I don't need the two installed it was before I knew what I was doing you don't want the orange X you want the STM 32 F 103 CB so you want to go ahead and click on that and then you want to go back up to tools you want to go back over where, uh, let's see, I think it's there, just to make sure, bam's up, yep, just to make sure it's there. And then uh, we want to go to upload met method, upload method. We want to go to auto detect USB. And then we also want to go to tools. We want to go to port, COM3. I know I'm on COM3, um, JP401 down there. You can see COM3 right above my finger so we're on com three dude we're done guess what you're done guys you just need to do one other thing click sketch i'm not going to click sketch because i've already done it um once you click sketch down here it'll it'll say downloading or loading or something the stuff you'll get a bar that runs across and then once that happens it'll start loading 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 it'll say done once it says done next to your green light you will have a red light simply unplug unplug go get your bugs and then uh, i'll walk you through setting up the controller so we're going to turn our controller on and you can see i'm running OpenTX. um i have i've never upgraded the software with the software that's on this was the software that it came out of the box um so the first thing that we need to do is get this position so you guys are going to be able to see it it's really bright on the bottom it's kind of uh, hard to uh Hard to photograph video. All right, so you want to go into your model, whatever model you're going to put it on, and then that the way that I did that, I pressed left on this. Now we need to press right. Then we need to go down, 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 down. And I'm trying to get a really good picture on this, but that bottom's so bright, dude. Uh, minute countdown time. Keep going down, keep going down, getting close. Um, internal RF, 16, nope, there. 
external RF, multi, protocol you want on custom, you want to set subtype 41 to zero, and then uh, turn on your bugs and hit bind. The lights should go solid. The next thing that we need to do is, again, I'm pressing right now, I'm pressing right. Um, the next thing we need to do is not in inputs. You can see I've set five, six, and seven inputs. It did absolutely nothing. We didn't fire any type motors. You need to go over to your mixers. We need to go down to this one. And we need to, I believe, hold enter, hit edit. Then we will go down here. Switch, hit enter. Flick whatever switch that you want. And then uh, I believe we have to go up and click save. I think. I could be wrong. No, you don't have to click save. You can click back, 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 back. Bamzo. Then uh, you could smash your switch up and down, up, whatever. Your motor should fire. All right, guys. I'm J-Drone. Hopefully this helps somebody. This has to be the best comprehensive um, video for... MJX bugs and my good friend again. I think it's Douglas from uh, the jumper community who uh, kind of got me started on this uh, I appreciate you man links for everything will be down below later